Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming part two of the transformation videos. So here is part two. We got 12 Dancing Princesses. Is her name Genevieve? I don't remember. But here she is. She needs to be cleaned up. Uh, Annalise, I believe. Uh, Alina. Dorothy. And then we got Catwoman, which I can't do anything about her arm. But we will try and clean her up. Um, be very careful of her pleather outfit so it doesn't peel. Uh, Barbie Fairytopia, the lavender doll. Uh, this... Struggling Disney Fairies. She's a Disney store exclusive, I think. And Murray Osmond, looking very bald and scary. And a little tiny Kelly that I don't know where she's from, but she's a tiny little Kelly. Along with all of these clothes to deal with. Yay! Hey guys, so today we're going to be cleaning up the rest of this lot. Uh, we got Catwoman here, who's sadly missing an arm, but I'm still going to clean her up as best as possible, and then sell her, and then, well, I'm going to sell her in the lot, but, you know, then people can decide what they want to do with her. Maria Osmond. What an ugly queen. Maybe someone will want her. This girly is missing a wing, sadly, but I don't know. Maybe someone will want her. Disney Store Fairy. I actually don't know if that's meant to be out or in. It looks like it's meant to be in. I don't know. They're out on both sides, so I guess it's meant to be out. I'm trying to remember that. But Disney Fairy Girl probably has poly hair. I don't know though. This little Kelly, I did not learn her name. Didn't bother. But she's going to be sold as well. And then we got this girly, uh, Alina from Barbie Fairytopia, I believe, is who this is. Annalise from Princess and the Popper, I believe. And then last but not least, 12 Dancing Princesses Genevieve, I believe. And this is the twirling dress one, so, and it still works. However, I cannot test the other two as I do not have the small little watch batteries needed for their backs um, to test them, so. It is what it's gonna be. So to get started with washing them, we will be using up this bottle of dish soap that I found under my sink and then more dish soap. We'll scrub them and then we'll carefully detangle them, especially a doll like Annalise, who uh, is sadly balding. Um, we're gonna have to try and fix her up and make it so her hair is not so patchy, but we also want to make sure we're not pulling out too much of her hair. Same with Genevieve, we don't want to accidentally pull out too much hair. So, 
We're going to be careful with them. But yeah. Uh, let's get started. Okay, we made it to the girl I am worried about the most. Like genuinely the most. So, let's get started with it. The last doll we have to do is Genevieve. Which I just haven't started because she has so much stuff. She's just so much. So, for Annalise, we're going to try and separate the hair where we can into like smaller chunks. And we're gonna take a big brush doing pretty well. I don't think she lost much more hair than she originally lost. Um, other than
Hey guys, so here are the afters of all our dear friends. So here's Annalise, the popular queen herself. Here's her hair. It's really soft. It does have some broken bits, you know, it's struggling a bit, but what can you do with a Barbie this old? Um, but she has her necklace. As you can see, she still has holes in her armpits on her dress, but I am not a very capable seam person. I don't know what you call it. I'm not good at sewing. So, yeah. Can't really do much about that. I could glue them, but I don't have fabric glue, so it'd have to be hot glue, but then I don't want to do that because what if the person would rather fix it properly? You know what I mean? Because I'm not keeping her. So if I was keeping her, I'd just do it my jank way, but I'm not keeping her. So I'd rather, like, leave it for someone to fix it properly if they so want to, or give it to someone to fix it properly if they want to. You know what I mean? I'd just, like, rather give them the option instead of, like, half-assing it myself. You know? I did get rid of a lot of the frayed bits, as you can see. Got rid of a lot of those, like, frayed, flying around bits. A lot of the loose tabs, strings, sorry. But otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to leave her for someone else to finish that off. Here's Dorothy. I didn't actually end up doing anything because I didn't want to have to redo these braids. Um, And also, she is, like, relatively good condition. So here's the Disney fairy. Her hair is what it is. I don't think it's like... I think it's polypropylene. Um, but it's not shocking coming from Disney. Because Disney doesn't really use high quality hair that often. Um, she is in her full outfit. She does have pieces to her wings. They're just in with the stuff that will go with these dolls. And her hat is right here. She is complete. Her wings are just broken. There's this little Kelly in this little outfit. Don't know who she is, but here you go. Her hair is all nice and soft and detangled. Lovely. Oh, here's the ugly queen herself. The Marie. Oops. I had to walk the. Here's the ugly queen herself, Marie Osmond doll. This doll is so fucking ugly. I'm sorry. Like, she just is. And she's, like, got barely any hair rooted into her. She's wearing this random Barbie dress. I don't know. But here she is. She's clean. Her hair's actually, like, pretty good condition. And it's pretty high quality considering, like, what the doll looks like and the company the doll is from. So, yeah, I genuinely am shocked that the hair is this nice. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, actually nicer than hers. And she's from Disney. Ah, what a shocker. Uh, next is our dear friend, 12 Dancing Princesses, Genevieve. Um, I did, like, gel her front bits. Um, it'll just wash it with water. Um, but just to make it look a little nicer, I did not want to take out her original hairstyle in case someone wanted it in. Again, I'm not keeping these. I'm going to sell them on eBay, um, with a bunch of other stuff and a lot to try and make up for a majority of the money I spent on this lot, uh, cause I paid $60 and that's kind of a lot for really just three brat stalls is what I really wanted out of it. Um, but yeah, here she is. She's looking gorgeous. She does still work. I don't know if I said that, but she does still work. Her dress still spins. Um, I have put the batteries in her legs and I've turned her on. They're not in right now, but, um, yes, all the parts will come with them too. I do have all the parts. I just kept them undone right now so that any water that could be in them could dry out. But yeah, she has her top. She has her dress. She's just missing her shoes. And I think a necklace. But yeah. Her hair turned out relatively nice. And if I were to redo it, it would look a lot nicer. Um, And then we have our friend Alina from Barbie Fairytopia. 
Her wings are not perfect, but I don't know what the doll originally looked like out of the store. But at least she doesn't have a bunch of hair and, like, trash stuck in them. I think that's a pen mark, so I don't think I can get that out. But yeah, her hair is a lot nicer now. It's a lot cleaner. Um, it does look a little frizzy because it keeps getting, like, caught on the wings. But yeah, she has her original top, her skirt, and her shoes. Um, I don't know if she's missing anything else. Um, don't remember. But that's her. Then we got this Barbie Fairytopia girly, the purple lavender girl. Um, she only has one wing, sadly. Um, but she does have her skirt, no shoes. But I fixed her hair up. Slay. And then last but not least is Catwoman. Um, Halle Berry is Catwoman. Batwoman. I don't fucking know. Whatever it is. Um, as you could see, her outfit is, like, kind of, like, pulled apart. I did not do that. It came like that. Um, but I don't want to sew her basically back into the outfit. Because that's what would happen if I sewed the outfit back together and sew her into it. But I don't want to do it in case someone wants to replace her body. Um, or, like, has the doll nude and just wants the outfit. Like, I just, I don't want to sew her back in. Just for someone to have to, like unstitch it again and then you know what I mean so she does have her original shoes they are there she has her pants her top and then she of course also has her mask none of it's actually peeling which is why I didn't wash it because I didn't want to risk causing the peeling but yeah none of this is peeling shockingly so that's good so that is the dolls after. I do have like, sorry to show you my floor, but I do have this bin of like dolls. Like, I don't know if you guys remember her, but her, I'm the C squared girl, this Barbie girl that I never figured out who she is. Disney princesses, all of that in here, along with a bunch of, like, clothes, so even, like, some furniture pieces in here, some Mycene shoes, some random clothes, I mean, you can just see there's all kinds of stuff, and then there's, like, all of this stuff as well, because, like, I don't care. There's, like, Barbie of Swan Lake's dress, which is, like, the only thing I really know. Although, I think this is from a Barbie... This is from a Barbie Valentine's Day doll. Um, but, yeah. Lots of clothing. Like, this is, like, a Barbie skirt from, like, a salon Barbie or something. I don't remember. Barbie princess dress from a Playline princess doll. So all of that, oh, piece of the wing. All of that will also be included with these dolls because I'm just trying to like get this stuff out of here. So these go on Genevieve's leg. This goes on Alina's back, I believe. And then this goes on, um, on Elise's back, I believe. Yes, they have all of those. But yeah, uh, I'll be probably listing all of this on my eBay. Uh, I probably will not sell the suitcase. I'll probably just donate it. It, it. it would cost too much to ship. And it would be hard to get it a box. So, yeah. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye. It's been a while since you let me bomb a cigarette. I think about you from now on.